If you struggle getting friend zoned or get appeared to as the nice guy very often in your life, this one trick, growing a beard, will really take your attraction to the next level. I wanna tell you exactly what I've learned through friends, studies, and my own experiences. There's some basic takeaways to help convince you that you should really grow a beard. You're going to appear more dominant, look stronger, look bigger, be more aggressive looking. This is a really important factor of an aesthetic, a visual representation of strength. To look powerful is powerful. And women sense this and see it. They also respond very well. Not only women, but people around you. Hence, making you more powerful, making you more attractive. When you grow a beard and you invest in it, say for about four months, five months, on average, you should have a pretty solid beard. If you struggle with certain growth patterns, patches, whatever, still within five to six months, you should have a solid beard and find out what works for you. Even if you have patches or less than ideal genetics for you, you can find something that really works for your face, still harnessing the power that you have as a man. Social dominance, and one of the first ways that this can be shown is an ornament, kind of like a peacock's feather or a bird's color. These things are known throughout nature, and one of the things that we have as men are our hair, our facial hair, our head hair, chest hair. These are things that men can do that women can't, and it really signifies power, masculinity, manhood. You gotta think what's on the opposite end of that, a woman or a boy. And when you double down on that, if you don't go too far, it becomes very attractive. Although too far can really attract certain people. So I would say you'd always be better off going too far and push any kind of masculine features such as muscles, height, hair, all of those things that are typically masculine, push those and lean into them. One of the things that we can control, unlike height, is a beard and we can grow that and we can work it and it doesn't have to be long or anything like that you just have to have one that really works for you whether it's just a goatee a mustache even sideburns if that's all you got and one thing i want to add is if you don't can't grow a beard at all replace this whole video with the idea of say long hair or some really good haircut but the social perceptions are still inevitable and these are go throughout time it's a timeless thing to have some sort of masculinity to attract the opposite sex. And will also attract people in your life, friends, workers, powerful people. A beard and masculine features almost always make you stand out and give you an elevated status. Intrasexual formidability. And this is the signifier, not towards women, but to other men, that you are stronger, that you are more alpha in the sense of this tribal caveman, basic ways that you stand out as more manly, more masculine, more adult, that you are wiser, healthier, and you have the power of a life lived. You're not just a youngin, just doesn't know anything. You're a powerful adult. And this beard signifies that this is an Again, another form of ornamental, but against other men. This helps you win king of the hill, so to speak. There's a number of studies on beards and women and what they find attractive. And, you know, there's a lot of inconclusive ones. Some really don't work with others. But I can tell you on the average what it says. It says that longer beards really end up promoting a sexual attraction of a man that for a longer term, a long-term partner, one that will take care of them, build a family, and so on. Then there's the idea that shorter beards really promote attraction towards, you know, one night stands, shorter relationships, instant flash in the pan type of things. Now the average of these tests say that in between, such as like a short beard, like a box beard, corporate beard, is the, universally the best beard that you can have. And I would say that that is true and I would recommend that for most people. But lately I feel like times have changed. I feel like there is so much going on with the world today that masculinity is really under attack and we really want to promote that. There's a lot of women really looking for men. And then there's this idea that women say that they're really hard to find a good man these days, harder than it's ever been before, as well as men are having less sex than they've ever had in all of recorded time, right? 
So I say one of the factors is that us men aren't leaning enough into being a man and growing your beard is really powerful to stand out and make your mark and be undeniably masculine and a man. Now, here's the opposition to this whole long beard, short beard thing, which is it's found also in a few other studies that the longer the beard, the more prominent that your masculinity. This means that women tend to actually be more sexually attracted to men who have a larger display of their masculinity. And this one is actually more popular. If you dig down, it's in more studies that women are more sexually attracted in all to a man who has a longer beard than a stubble. It's funny because there's this one really popular study saying about the short beard for flash in the pan or long beard for long-term relationships, but it's only one. It's just really popular. And a lot of people cite this, but there's other ones with like 8,000 participants and more. These are the ones where the women have found more traction to more masculine men. And these particular ones are about facial hair. On the large, a woman's preference is goes towards more stronger and masculine features. They're associated with these features. Age, sexual maturity, masculine social dominance, underlying health, mating success, aggressiveness and reduced paternal investment. Now, when I think about everybody I've ever had known and talked to about having a beard, they all pretty much report that the beard made them stand out, they got more attention, if they did it right and they invested, that is, and they loved it. But there was a few reasons they got rid of it, whether it was work, their significant other asked them to get rid of it, or they just thought it wasn't good enough, or they didn't know how to do anything with it. I really don't believe there isn't a way or a beard for anyone. I do have a course about beards and growing as an individual and growing your best beard, if that's something you're interested in. There's a beard for everyone. There really is. So I recommend it for almost every single man. A beard isn't without its cons. There's definitely some. These are good to know ahead of time. The first one is it takes time. A lot of people are too impatient and it's gonna look not so great for the months that it takes. The good thing with that, just really quick, is that you know you don't really have to do much. You just have to look bad and just let it grow. There's gonna be a period of time when you're growing and it doesn't look that great. That's just how it is. And most people just honestly get two months in and think that they're gonna have a beard. It's like, no, you need like two more months and one trim and then another month. And then you're gonna have what you think you're gonna get in two months. You're gonna get in like four. But you will have some really great coverage in about six weeks. The maintenance, there's maintenance to the beard. You're gonna need different tools. You're gonna need buzzers, scissors, or just go to somebody for haircuts. You're gonna need to work on getting your neck and cleaning up around the beard or cheeks if that's your style. Beards can be a little bit of work, but I would say it's less work than shaving your face with a razor. The growth pattern. Not everybody has a, a growth pattern that they wish they could have. Everybody has their own. There's genetics at play and we all have to deal with our own. And you want to find out what is the best way to shape and work with what you've got. It's not about getting the best beard, it's about getting your best beard. And that's how you can make your beard powerful and get those women get, become more attractive and stop being treated like a nobody or a weakling and get friend zoned. What I have noticed at times is when you have a beard, sometimes people think you're just angry all the time. They look at you and think you're antisocial, but you're a really nice person. But they just, you have a standoffishness. And that's kind of what goes in with a social, aggressive, formidability, and masculine power. You will have a certain amount of strength and standoffishness that you're going to hold with you. So there is a level that you may need to or want to step up the friendliness in your life because often people will think you're just an asshole. Another con is a lot of people will talk to you about your beard after you get one. And at first it's good, but maybe a year in, it gets pretty tiring. It doesn't matter. You start to see beyond the beard and you recognize the power, but you're not necessarily always wanting to talk about it. Although this comes in waves and personality, but what can happen and the downside to this is that a lot of people 
will grow a really great beard and they'll identify it as part of their personality and they think that they end up becoming more of a person because all of a sudden they get more attractive or they think it's a identity marker when it's not. You have a beard, you look better, you look stronger, but you aren't necessarily stronger. The growth and growing with the beard is a thing and if you're not continuing to grow and not working on yourself and not recognizing what's happened and learning to grow and take these assets of this beard and use that power responsibly and recognize the journey that's got you and how far you've gotten and you're hoping to help people if you're not doing that and you're just egotistical and superficial with a beard it's just going to come off that way and people aren't going to want to hear you talk about it because it's boring to anybody else who also just doesn't care enough. It's a weird thing and it goes in many different directions with many different people. So I generally have a rule of I only speak about my beard or beards to people who ask me or to an audience that I know for sure is pretty interested in beards. Overall, I have found that beards are so powerful and if you don't use them responsibly in your life and don't make it a hobby, like beards aren't a hobby unless you're like doing hairstyle or whatever, it's it's just a part of your life, like having a great body or you know, a nice car. Your things don't make up you just because you grew it on your face. This is not who you are. In conclusion, you should grow a beard. You should grow a longer beard too. Not super wizard-like, maybe about no longer than this guy here, but definitely grow a beard. Let it grow for six weeks, clean it up around six weeks mark, and then grow it for about another month, and then you should have enough to shape it. Kind of like when you grow a hedge, is how I always talk about it, you grow it out and then you can trim up the shape. But you need to grow beyond the shape that you want to get in, you can't grow into it. it it's very difficult, that is. So you're better off just doing six weeks, and then another month, shape it up, then go again and keep growing, let that go out, and you'll find out some what really works for your hair, what grows f faster and more full, or what needs to be filled in, whether it's like weak parts, I have some weak parts too. At first, you may not notice that it's going to fill in, but then after this amount of time, you'll need to notice it filled in. You just gotta trim up and match. There's a lot to it. What happens after you get your beard? The biggest thing I see is people are afraid that their beard doesn't look good, and it does. It looks great. As long as you pay attention, you go to a barber or hairstylist, and you have them work with you over time, give it like six months before you get the beard that people admire, you're really gonna figure it out. If you work with professionals and you show them pictures of people's beard growth that matches yours, you're going to be really better off because I see a lot of people bring in pictures of somebody who has totally different beard growth altogether than what they have and they say, I want it to look like this. It's like, no, find somebody who has similar growth pattern as you and that's kind of the beard example, beard cuts that you're gonna to wanna to get. Okay, I hope this helped you guys out and inspired you to grow a beard, become more masculine, stand for your masculinity, become more powerful in your life. And if you're interested in leveling up your life and taking your masculinity to the next level and become extremely powerful, more confident, higher status, all of that, there's a link to my mentoring calls. We can chat for a while, see if we're a good fit. Until next time, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.